Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to a little bit more Heroes of the Storm. Today we're gonna be just playing another little funny game right here with one of my absolute favorites. It's going to be Muradin the Mountain King. Which I, you know, is one of the main reasons why I like playing this guy so much. It's because of Muradin the I can say that, you know. It's not very good, it's my impressions aren't that great, but I'll take the mid lane, boys. Let me just take the mid lane. So we're on the, um... Are we, are we not? Alright, alright. Uh, we find ourselves on the Garden of Terror right here. They uh, enabled a bunch of the maps once again. It's gonna be really fun. Um, hopefully. We're gonna try our very best. Um, now our team composition is looking pretty alright. We got double support, which is interesting. Lily and Brightwing, not the strongest of supports, either of them right now. Uh, Brightwing recently got nerfed quite a bunch. Um, but at least we'll stay alive, right? So that means I can focus a little more on damage, I suppose. I probably should have done that a little earlier. But we still have a Zero tool, and we also, um, you know, we also have a Sergeant Hammer. So we can definitely do this. Look at the team being all polite and stuff. Um, so real quick, if you're not aware of Muradin, I played this guy, like, I feel like I've already made a hundred videos about this guy. Uh, absolutely love playing him, but basically how this guy works, um, you have a Q ability that shoots a bolt forward, and it stuns an enemy that it hits, so the very first target it hits gets stunned. So this is it right here. Now we have the W ability. W ability is Thunder Clap. What happens is you basically do AoE damage around you. And then we have Dwarf Toss as well, which is this thing right here. It allows you to uh, move forward and, you know, force the heal right there on uh, on our beloved Raynor. So today we don't, uh, we don't really have uh, like a super fancy build or anything in mind that we want to try and execute. We're just going to try and play a good old game right here. Going for a pretty, pretty standard reverberation build. Um, I probably should have gone for the Infused Hammer. Or uh, for the perfect storm rudder, just to uh, stack it up like crazy over time. Uh, not having any lag myself, but I gotta be careful. Whew. All right, we'll just go back. So a little bit of a uh, gank right there by uh, by Mr. Butcher, but at the very least we're still alive. I'll be heading to watch the bottom lane. Careful, boys. Careful now. We should probably go to uh, to the bottom one. But this is looking alright. Uh, now my passive trait, by the way, I haven't covered that one yet. My passive trait basically makes it so that whenever I am out of combat for a little while, I will automatically start healing. Um, and I believe actually after this game I may even be healing level 10 with them. I'm not completely sure about that though, we'll see. Um, I know that I'm relatively close to it, but I, I don't really check experience and all those kind of things too often. Uh, but it's okay, we can we can build relatively high damage in this uh, in this game and just, you know, take a little bit more of a risk because we do have two, you know, two healers. It obviously depends on the builds they go for. Uh, Lily obviously having an alt that is also very useful in team fights, uh, besides just the, you know, the, uh, the standard heal that she does. Um, but it's all good. Alright. So we managed to grab that one, they managed to grab the uh, the one in the top as well. Oh my god guys, that's dangerous. Gotta be real careful doing such moves. Well, she's gonna be unstoppable anyway. Don't get that. As for a bazooka, we don't want you to kill the tower, man. If you die for it though, then we're okay with it. Then we're okay with it, man. It's it's fine. We'll forgive you for, uh, for your shenanigans right here. Uh, next one we're gonna go for is Thunder Burn. It basically makes it so that whenever I use my W ability, we'll get a second one off in a little bit. Did hit my Storm Bolt right there, but sadly Sylvanas is gonna be invulnerable for a little bit. All good though. I'm gonna drink from the fountain and then head to the bot or head to the top lane. Or actually, yeah, I'll, I'll be heading there. Fine. Um, I thought Zerato would be a little bit nicer to roam around with. Wow, the siege tank is sieging up in that scenario. That's very risky. All good though. Managed to dodge the zombie wall. Zombie wall always a little scary. We're hitting the storm bolts today. We're on point. <laughs> we do what we're supposed to do. I don't. I gotta be careful though. I can't just be hitting my storm bolts like that because, well, you can see, my uh, my mana. I'm burning through it quite quickly. Health is usually not that big of a deal because we'll just you know heal up over time. As you can see the health is uh, or the heal is already activated once again. It's all about the uh, the mana, um, the mana cost of uh, the abilities that. Uh, you know, we have. Yeah, so I really shouldn't be doing such moves. Like that one right there. That's kind of silly. But just trying to uh, make sure that I uh, put down my thunderclap in the middle of things. Make sure it hit twice. And, you know, at that point, the wave clears are very easy to stop. 40 seconds remaining, though. I don't really want to... We actually both have 90, by the way. Both have 90 of the... Uh, 
of the seeds. I don't really want to go back just yet. I mean, level 7 is going to be hit earlier already as it is, and we won't have an easy time with it. Okay. We'll see if someone comes bot, or comes to the top lane. I gotta be careful. Don't want to get caught by the zombie wall. But we just gotta push until level 7 as well. And we should get that shortly. Now, it looks like... I think that's our bright wing that does... Yeah, that does get... Or did get disconnected right there. Uh, but we got level 7. We got level 7, so it's all good. Uh, we're gonna go for the piercing bolt. Piercing bolt is the obvious choice at level 7. Basically, what happens is once you throw the hammer forward, it will hit two enemies instead of one. So, it's... Um, it's very good. It's, it's very nice to have. So there you can see, well, you know, if she wasn't unstoppable, I suppose, or I don't know exactly what happened there, but normally it would be pretty straightforward to kill her. So now she's unstoppable, but that's not going to last forever, I'm afraid. Oh, well, I missed the hammer, but we got the kill anyway. Coming towards the bot lane right now. There's still pushing going on at the top, but I can't really hold her. Okay, I did manage to get the stun right there, interrupting the butcher for his, like, relentless healing. Zeratul is going top right now. He will be able to easily kill her. Or kill him. I guess Nazebo is a him, right? Pretty certain. Oh, pretty certain he is. This is getting a little tricky, though. A little bit of a tough game here. Well, let me just step into that radius then. If we're going for the healing ward, we'll take it. Alright. So either, yeah, one of the healers should probably take it. One of healers should take it. Probably our best bet. Either Lily or Brightwing. I mean, they're just simply, uh, you know, the best for these scenarios. Don't really want to be messing with Uther here. Let me just grab some more seats instead. So we're doing good. We're tanking a lot of the damage, and, you know, we're just being all-round helpful. Or at least I think I am. <laughs> Pushing out a little bit more damage, grabbing a couple more seeds. Don't know exactly where they are. They may be very well over here, you know. Gonna drink from the fountain. Get my health, or get some mana back. They're level 10 right now, though, so we do have to be careful. Don't really want to fight until then. They should try and force a fight right now, or at least like that's the the normal approach here. But instead they're distracted by the Garden Terror, so it's all good. Their Garden Terror is looking to go to the middle lane. And we're gonna go... Oh my god, almost went Haymaker there. No, we're going for the Avatar. Avatar a little too good not to uh, not to go for. Basically what happens is I, um, you know, stun with every one of my attacks. And we're just trying to be an annoyance. I'm gonna activate my Avatar immediately. You know, just make sure that we... Get rid of all of the shenanigans that's going on here. Sadly, I do get caught right there. Cooldown on it is quite long. Yeah, we won't be able to kill the... F or we won't be able to... Uh well, this fort is apparently saved, interestingly enough. Let's keep pushing. Just keep going. Yeah, the avatar looks pretty cool in this skin. Alright. We'll be able to grab that. And the Terra is actually gonna go down. He may be able to grab this. I'm gonna go to the top. Or, you know, through the middle right now. Who's in it? Oh, Nazebo is down. Gotcha. Very nice. Very nice. So, hero damage obviously is pretty low, right? Hero damage is not what we're looking for. It's mainly the tanking that we're looking at right here and, you know, just general survivability. We're trying to be a utility type person, right? We're trying to be that hero that um, is, is basically taking the hard hits for the team and then picking off targets at once, you know? Like, you hit a stun, you interrupt people, and that one is really hard to measure to these kind of scoreboards. Um, it's, it's, yeah, versus, you know, when you, when you try and look at, at Muradin, it's usually just about how often he has died and stuff, and uh, less so about the amount of damage that he's done that game. Wow, he actually went for the extra movement speed. I no, won't be able to grab him. Alright, do have to hit the W's here. Alright, just run. Just run, boys. Toby just barely staying alive there. Okay. I'm gonna try and uh, ask for... Careful, boys. 
bot is getting pushed. Oh, back. Please, please, guys. Please, just, just back, bros. Alright. Well, for whatever reason, they decided not to really push it very hard. I think they could have just taken both of the kills there, but... We're coming back into this, though. We're doing well. Getting a little bit low on health here. Obviously, gotta be paying attention to that, but... We're gonna just back. They don't have a cloak here or anything like that, so this is fine. Um, and I'm gonna be going with the healing static, even though even though we have two healers, you know it's it's nice. Thunder Thunder Strike and Burning. I probably could have gone Burning Rage actually. Now think about it. Now rethinking this, I should have probably gone Burning Rage. Uh, healing static usually is the best choice because of the Thunder Burn and the reverberation early on. Healing static is never bad, obviously. It just basically gives me more healing. Uh, I haven't actually really checked what my allies are building either. So we see full healing right there on uh, on Lily. Um, and we on right wing see pretty much the same thing Not full healing though. We could go for a little bit more, but the talents get changed quite a bunch recently And it's hard to say exactly what they're going for All right Wow, I just turned into a plant I jumped straight into my plantness That, that healing totem placement <laughs> Oh no. Get him, boys. Got him. Nice little bit of damage right there. It's easy to underestimate him as well, though. Like, if you go up against a 1v1 or in a 1v1 against Mirrodin, he's not gonna, like, nuke you down or anything, right? That's not. Oh my god, I didn't even see this. He's not gonna nuke you down or anything like that, but. Um, he still is gonna do a lot of damage to you if you aren't careful. We can just take this. Well, not like this, though. I don't think the Butcher is imbalanced, to be honest. I think the Butcher is fine. This requires a bit of a different mindset. Well. You're <laughs> that range is so, so low on that ability, man. Won't be able to get it. <laughs> if I wouldn't be stunned, I could just blink away, yeah. Exactly, it's mostly about knowing exactly where to go. It's okay though. We're fine. We are fine. It's a, it's actually making out to be a pretty close game. Holy god! Holy shit, nobody has stopped him ever. How much siege damage will Nazebo have at this point? A lot. That's all I know. That it's a lot. And he sprints. You don't see Nazebo all that often anymore in games. It used to be very common. Oh, missed it right there. Now, sadly, this is not a fight we want to take. Sergeant Hammer is not even remotely close. He actually just went down. And Lily only just now joined the fight. I think she was dead. Bam. We're missing so much damage. Like, we're, we're just not having the damage. Without the siege tank, the damage is just not where we want it to be. Eventually, people will fall. Oh, come on. You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. For real? Wow, he actually will survive. Siege tank. We should all group together. We don't have enough damage. <clears throat> Let's just walk as five. That's probably our best bet. Lily, please. Lily, please. Siege tank. Auto, please. Thanks. Cool. All right, all right. A little bit of a uh, little bit of focus. Focus fighting instead of just the randomized, you know, randomized stuff. Oh man, they're they're just staying there. I don't really know why. Once again, missing my storm bolt there. I had a good time early on. All right, and the healing. Yeah, so sadly they're not actually joining anything. I think they must be in a party or something. Uh, we're gonna go here with um, imposing presence. They they are mostly. Uh, Mostly focused on it. Uh, let's just go bot then. Join them. <clears throat> it's probably our best bet. At least we're walking together, you know. Why? Why is he? Why is he not? What? Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's no terror here anymore. But I mean, we need to walk together, else we can never take it. Okay, let's go mid. Can we? Can we go mid, boys? Please, siege tank and Lily. All right. Yeah, the siege tank. The siege tank is just going, going to whatever. He just wants to go bot. I mean, they've been pushing bot quite well. 
Yeah, we're, we're losing out a little bit of time here. Which is the main important thing, or the thing right now why we're not getting anything. I mean, we're not having damage here, right? Lily and... Siege Tank are mid. Please, guys! Oh my god, they're not playing a team game, I'm afraid. Lily? <laughs> Maybe? Anyone? Hammer? <laughs> Sergeant Hammer needs help. Dude. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. We'll just, we'll just help Hammer out then. <clears throat> alright, Hammer does know how to ping. But they're not really helping out in team formations. <clears throat> it's okay though. We can still win this, even if it's not the, uh, the, the breastest of opportunities. Uh, after cleaning up these two guys, I'm gonna go back to uh, to the base right now and make sure I get extra health going. Oh god, I thought I was already teleported. Uh, I need some extra. Yeah, this is this is this is not an engagement to take. Uh, Lily ends up falling there. Okay, I'm gonna move in. I'm gonna move in here. Okay, did manage to get. Uh, the Terra down, but that's not gonna be enough on its own. Let's drink from the fountain real quick. Make sure we get the health back. Careful. Okay. We can definitely still hold on though. We had a, a very nice early game lead. But I think uh, the lack of team fighting is definitely not helping us out. It's not doing us any favor, too, to say. Okay, grabbing some extra health here. I think that's actually the master skin, isn't it? Or is that just, uh, I'm not sure. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, fair enough. We got Uther, you know, a little bit before. We can still win this though, we're still the similar talents right now and the team fights definitely do go in our favor when I go like that, but... Yeah, we, we just need to fight as a team. Can we fight as a team? <clears throat> I don't know if he speaks English. Maybe he doesn't speak English. Okay. Okay, we can go bot lane now. This this is your favorite day, dude. This is your favorite day. Go bot lane. No, dude, 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 dude go bot lane. Dude, dude, please. All right, fine. What oh, is a massive fight going on over here? I was busy being fascinated by uh, ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> He's still sitting there at the exact same, like, position. He's still sitting there. He's not even hitting anything. Ugh. Don't like making fun of people. I don't like judging people. And I don't like, you know, being ignorant. But I can tell you that this isn't helping the team formation. We're just missing so much damage. <laughs> He's still sitting there. <laughs> Alright, at least Lily is here now. Uh, Alright. The blessed shield. The blessed shield. No. Oh my god. He's, he's finally coming over. He's coming over right now. There we go. Look at him. He noticed it. Hey, look at that. Oh man. Yeah, that wasn't the ideal fight to take. And he does activate the first aid right now, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Well, Lily is healing away. But... Oh, he does get uh, hamstringed right there by the Butcher. Butcher, pretty tough uh, tough opponent to take. So, so far, we have 47,000 siege damage and 24,000 hero damage. Um, definitely not the, the highest numbers in the game, but like I, like I mentioned, you know, we're tanking a lot of it. We're, we're being annoying to our team. Or we're being annoying to their team, mostly. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means. Um, group? Team? Maybe maybe he understands team or group. I don't know any Russian. I should learn some. Just, uh, just for Heroes of the Storm. There's a lot of Russians actually going on the servers nowadays. Alright. Going in right now. Trying to see if we can take this one. Oh, that one is not that scary, dude. That, that one will get cleaned up just fine. That two word means you should tank... what? Alright. He does speak English. 
Okay, I'll try. <clears throat> Apparently he doesn't like my tanking, even though I've been doing quite well, I think. Uh, we're gonna go with rewind here, make sure we get more and more stuns going. It's all good though. Blame training is always easy. Keeping a team up. Trying to at least. Alright, he's actually going core. Where are you going? Now that doesn't work against the core, bro. <clears throat> it's okay. We should be fine. He's joining fights right now, so we can easily take this. Well, I can't tank it like that, dude. This doesn't happen in that siege position. It's very hard. <laughs> Alright guys, I actually recently saw a comment of someone asking if I ever get interesting teams, right? And I'll use the word interesting here. Um, it it happens. It definitely does happen. <laughs> so I think they're going to be able to finish the game off right here. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.